Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today I'll be doing an unboxing video. But I will not unbox plants but instead I will unbox bags! Yes, I bought new bags because recently I've been meaning to buy a really good leather bags that will last me a lifetime. I used to buy tons of those fast fashion synthetic leather bags and it lasts me a year or two then. Like, the bags that I got from my mom or from my aunt, although they're very luxurious bag, actually like this bag. My mom bought this uh, back in 2010, but look, it's still alive and it still looks good. So as long as you take care of your um, luxury leather good bags, it will last you a lifetime. So that's what I wanted to buy. But I can't afford this brands because it's too expensive for me. So I wanted to choose a contemporary brand which is not that popular. So I want something unique but also stylish and uh, classic and minimalist. And I came across this brand which is Pollen. They are a French brand I think. I came across them while watching other bag reviews and when I checked their website, their bags are so stylish and very classic. Like. If you wear it 5 years ago or 10 years from now, it would still look good. So that's why I chose this brand. Although, the con is that you, it's hard to get them because you can only buy them through their website. So you won't be able to touch them or feel them. And like if you go to a physical store, it would be easier to check on the bags. Today, I will unbox this bags. I actually bought two. Um, it's Numero on Nano and the umi bag sure their bags are named um by number so number one number i don't know what's what's umi i think this is the number 12 or 11 i'm not sure so i've already unboxed this i will clip a video here but i only open it to see if i got the correct order but i haven't really inspected the bag so yeah what i like about this bag it's it's small but it I think it can fit a lot so yeah you have this card then I've already opened it a little bit but I haven't really inspected look at the dust bag it's so thick so nice and so here let us see it looks so cute I love this color Lately, I'm really into a uh, mauve or lilac nude type of colors. So in that um, palette, <laughs> wow! Look at that. It matches my my polo right now. So this one is in color lilac. Actually, when you check out the website, it mo it looks more of like a nude pink rather than like a purple type. <laughs> Engrave the their brand here, Pollen. Wow, it smells like leather. I love smelling new leather. So this one, when you open it, ooh, I like that it's cinch. It looks, it makes it look classy because of the structure of this one. Okay, let's open it. So this one, they have a button here. Wow. Wow, I love that the button still have their brand name on it. <laughs> Right. Ooh. Let's take out this one. They have the Polen brand engraved here as well. And this is the tag. Numero un nano. I don't know if you can see that. But let me read. So the numero un nano. It's in French. <laughs> but oh, there's a English translation. Main material, Italian cap skin. Lining is cotton. Oh, yeah. So, if you can see inside, it's sort of like maroon type color, but the lining is cotton. I like that it is an Italian cap skin. This is what I mean by good leather, guys. And it's also textured. It has its own pocket inside. And let's see. Yep, it says cotton. Made in Spain, yeah. I want to see what will fit inside this bag. Hmm. 
Okay, pause. I already had my coffee. So let's see if it will fit this one. This is my long wallet. It's to me. Okay, so you cannot fit it when it's cinched. So you have to open the buttons. Four might not be good if you use your long wallet. So I think I'm gonna try to use my coach wallet instead. This one is a mini wallet. See, so this one would fit much better here. Look. See? So I'm gonna try to cinch to button it up again. Yeah, it's hard to put your hands here. Uh, I'm lucky I have a small hand so I can get my stuff quick here. But if you have big hands, it's gonna be hard to grab your stuff there. And what else? Let's say I'm going to put my wipes. I don't know if you will be able to see this. So I'm putting my wipes here. And my alcohol. And my uh, hand cream. There. And my AirPods. So these are the stuff that I usually bring with me. I can put more actually. If you look at it, there's more space. You can see that there's tons of space see? so I like it oh what I like about this as well is look it has gold hardware feet and it will protect the bottom of your bag oh yeah I love this bag uh what else oh yeah let's open a another bag later I'll maybe I'll put some mod shots but let me see. Let me see if it can fit me. Yeah, it's way too long for me. It needs to be up to here. Like, like that. Anyway, let's get to the next bag. Um, my Umi bag. Let's unbox this bag. So, I've been... This, is, this was my first choice, which is very clear. My second bag, I was... I was struggling if I want Umi or the Numero Nu. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. But I really like the numero Nuf, but I feel like, I don't know how well I will style the bag. Because like, maybe I have a few outfits that can go well with the numero Nuf. But this Umi, I can wear it like every day. So, I think this would be my everyday bag. See? I really like their dust bag. It's so thick. Ooh. So this one is the Umi bag. It looks so nice. I think this would fit a lot of my stuff. Because this one is a little bit small. So if you compare it. See. Wide wise. Yeah, this one is still bigger. Let's see. Let's see if it will fit my long wallet. Ooh, wait lang. Let's take this one off. The, the Polen brand is engraved here. Actually, um, I'll talk about how much I paid for this one. So, let's open this bag first. Ooh, I like... Look at that. This is Umi. So, this one is full grain Italian cap skin and 100% velvet microfiber. So, the inside of this is a velvet microfiber. I don't know if you can um, feel it. A lot of the LV bags also have like this type of uh, microfiber lining inside. So if you look at inside, you have the brand there, Polen, and you have a pocket here. Ooh, I like the inside. It looks so luxurious actually if you look at it. So this one is, the lining is cotton and... This one is Italian cap skin, but this one is a full grain Italian cap skin. I don't know what's the difference between the full grain and just the regular one. I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah, this one is white so it's hard to see the texture of it. But, let's see if it can fit my wallet. That's my wallet. <laughs> Oh yeah, this one. So let's see. Wow. 
it fits perfectly <laughs> what else can I fit let's say I'm going to fit um, my makeup bag which I need to be careful because this is a white bag and I don't want it I don't want to have stains inside let's see if I can fit it oh it can fit my oh. and then let's say I have this you know, this is where I put my IDs, my vaccine cards. This one also fits. And let's see if I can fit my... What I have here? My alcohol, my AirPods, and my wipes. Let us see. So, we have everything here. I'm still going to put my wipes. And then my alcohol. My hand cream. And maybe my AirPods here. Inside the pocket. Actually, where's my phone? I could also check if I can fit my phone here. So, here. Yeah, so... The trick is, I feel like this is going to be hard. You cannot, I feel like you cannot put a ton of stuff here because you will have a hard time zipping it. So, I think that's the only struggle here. Look wise, it looks so nice. But when you put a, a ton of stuff in your bag, I think it will be hard to zip and unzip it. Let's adjust this one. And... I honestly don't know how I would... Do they have a instruction on how to adjust this? From what I see online is you take this. Um, I think... So there you go guys. I've already adjusted it. So I just looped it here. I didn't use this code hardware here. So I just looped it here. And used the belt and... Use the belt to uh, attach the the rest of the strap, and now I have a shoulder bag. Looks so nice. There's tons of way to wear it, so you can wear it as a body bag or you can wear it as a shoulder bag. So I like this one because it's very flexible. This one you can you can use it as a body bag or a top handle. There. Yeah, I love this bag. It looks so nice. It looks so classy even with light color. And the weight is like it's really not heavy at all. But I think even though this is my favorite, I feel like I will use this more often because it's easier to carry and at the same time it's like there's tons of things that you can put in here, right? I think I'm very happy with the bags that I bought. When I went to their website, I chose the Euro English instead of the USD English because I feel like when you convert the Euros to the price of the USD in their website, the price for their USD is much higher than the price of the Euros when I convert it to my currency, which is PHP, Philippine Peso. The only difference is that I thought when I converted it to my currency, I would get that exact amount. But instead, when it entered my credit card, I think my bank used the conversion when it entered my credit card, not the currency on when I bought it. So I bought these bags. I bought these bags around Thursday last week. So it took me a week to get this. So today is Thursday, but I'll probably upload it and a much later day and then they shipped it to me Friday but I got the bill from my credit card for this bag around Saturday or Sunday so maybe they use the currency or the exchange rate during that time so for these bags I'm not sure how much these two bags cost me $580 I think this one is $260 
Oh, not dollars. I mean euros. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I bought these for 580 euros for the tool. So this one is a 260 euros, which is much cheaper than this one, which is 320 euros. And then they have the 40 euro shipping. So it's a total of 620 euros. I ordered it Thursday afternoon. They shipped it Friday. Um, it arrived in our in my country around Sunday morning, but it took the customs around three to four days to process it. I even need to call DHL to check what's up, you know, like what's going on with my delivery. But as long as you have your airway bill number, you can check in their website what's going on. But sometimes it would be, it was just it was just not moving for two days, so I don't know what's happening. As for the custom fee, they charge me uh, only for the 580 euros, not the shipping fee. So they don't include that when they tax you. So my total tax was 11,075 pesos. So technically, um, it's like an additional 100 euros for each of the bag to export, to import it here tax is so expensive it's just like buying another bag because of the tax i could have bought like a wallet or a, they have this a micro bag i could have bought that if it's not for the tax but i couldn't wait to get these bags so i paid for it anyway actually the estimated delivery day is supposed to be monday so it was earlier than it was earlier than four days so maybe because i was trying to call them and so yeah that's how i got these bags and maybe i'll get the mod shots and yeah so thanks guys for watching i really love these bags let me know if you want to ask me anything about the customs or my experience with uh, importing these bags if my information is not enough you can always comment on my videos and i would most likely reply to them right away so yeah that's it guys thank you for watching i'm gonna enjoy these bags and thank you bye